Hello everyone, welcome to match two of our, with our uh, White Sun Miracles deck. All right, Double Jace is a little is a little shaky, um, but we do have a Telling Time and three lands, so you know what? We'll go ahead and keep this hand. Okay, opponent goes to six, and we'll get started here with Flooded Strand Island. All right. Could be any number of things. Okay. <clears throat> Second path here. Although, ooh, sunken rooms. All right, I'm intrigued. I think our opponent plays Shadow of Doubt? I don't know. I don't know. Let's let's not find out. Alright, so there's our Rune Halo. Reflecting Pool. Really don't know what we're up against here. Uh I alright, I guess we'll fetch now. Maybe we'll get Shadow of Doubted. Nope. Okay. Opponent is uh, civilized enough to not, <clears throat> not play cards quite that savage in their in their deck here. Reflecting pool is very interesting though. I don't know whether this is going to be more of a control deck or a mid range type deck. Is this a Jace? It is a Jace. Okay, well they're going to get a Jace. Brainstorm. So I guess we get to land a Jace of our own, but unfortunately we're going to be a little behind here, I think. So these, uh, do I want to, yeah, we're going to tell in time. I guess we take the illumination here. And I guess we'll keep the Field of Ruin. Play our own Jace. And we'll draw some cards. Uh, I think we'll put back... Path, Jace, play an Island. Give us the option to cycle um, our hieroglyphic illumination, but unfortunately, we don't really have anything to cycle into. All right, looks like our opponent is going three color <laughs> into Teferi. Yeah. Ouch. Alright, so looks like we're in for a little bit of a spanking here. Uh, <sighs> Alright, so let's put back Jace and put back this Path to Exile. I think we're going to plan on um, Fuel of Ruining our opponent's mana base this turn. This is not good. This is not good at all. We had a very, very poor opening hand against a, uh, against a control strategy. But at this point, I think I just want to see uh, how much, like what kind of stuff are, is in our opponent's deck. So, okay, so Reflecting Pool combos with this in a really interesting way.
in that it uh, can produce any color of mana with the Vivid Crag. So let's grab ourselves an island here. I'm not really even sure what we what we can do here. Um, our opponent uh, has got us over a barrel here. For sure. I mean, the tension spear would be an okay draw, but it's gonna Esper charm us. Yuck. Ooh. Okay. Uh, let's see. So let's telling time in response. Okay, so we can have our own Teferi. So I think we're going to take the Teferi, take the click. So we're going to need something to threaten our opponent here. And we're going to get rid of Opt. And Ruined Halo, I think. Or maybe Path. I guess we'll get rid of the path. Uh, let's see. So if we play Teferi, dunk their Teferi. Although they still have Cryptic Command mana up, so it's not even very likely to resolve. We play click. We could uh, we could protect our click. So why don't we why don't we plan on doing that? Although I'm sure they have fatal pushes and path to exiles and all that kind of stuff. So I don't think we can win this game. But I just wanna I just wanna try and see a little more of our opponent's deck. Got a lot of cards in hand. I have to discard. Let's go search for Ascanta. This is one of my favorite planes in the game, by the way. This is a search for Ascanta. All right. Let's try and find out what what type of counter magic our opponent plays, if any. Back to basics would be sweet and modern. Let's see what they got going on over there. Path to Exile on our Vendillion Click. I kind of want to counter this. <clears throat> it's quite possible we get blown out by a, by a two mana counter spell here, but I really want this click to survive. Whoa! This is, this is some some stuff here. Niv-Mazette. So we don't actually have a way to deal with that. Um, this, this deck is something else, let me tell you. So Snap Esper Charm is, 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 ugh, is really good. Um, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if we, I think we're gonna get rid of this, let them draw a card, snap. So they don't have snap path available on our turn. So yeah, why don't we do that? Or no, they get to untap two lands. Shoot, they do have snap path available on our turn. That's right. They could even snap path right now if they wanted to, so. Ooh, mana leak's nice. One, two for a snapcaster. Okay. Alright, so I think we're stringing something together here. So we're going to get rid of their Teferi. They also have Cryptic Command in hand. So I think we give them the Snapcaster, but then we counter... And they don't have any things that anymore. So we'll give them the Snapcaster, but we'll counter the path. Now, unfortunately, they will be able to deal. They will be able to deal with our Teferi, but I think we just need to get that Jace off of the table. Alternatively, we can go up. We can go up with Teferi and let them keep the Jace. that. Yeah, you know what? The removal spell is gone for this click. So, I like the idea of getting rid of that. Sure. So they get to take down our Teferi, um, but I think I'll just untap both its fairy. Yep, okay. I think I'll just untap and uh, play like a Rune Halo, naming Snapcaster Mage. Oh, I'm just making some red mana here. <laughs> this is this is interesting for sure. Am I about to, like, cruel ultimatum? Oh my goodness. Sacrifices a creature, discard three cards, then loses five life. Yeah, this is something else. All right. So our opponent left up one mana, so I'm sure that they have, I'm sure they've got a cryptic, or a, uh, I'm sure they've got a, uh, path to exile in hand, so we will not, will not run our colonnade into that, and we are, we are most certainly dead this game, but, uh, this deck is super sweet, and I just want to, I just want to see more of it, I want to see what our opponent can do. So it looks like they're going to get to replay their Jace. I think we'll take like one more draw step and probably concede after that. <coughs> All right. Draw two cards, 10 damage target creature or planes or whatever, and a Jace. All right. a card on the bottom. So 
I'm not sure what's worse. This or the Jace. I think the Jace is worse. I believe they have a cryptic command in hand, though, that we still know about, so... Esper Charm destroy our detention sphere. Get back there, Jace. good news is that I think our sideboard should be decently... My gosh. Are decently set up to beat this deck. Alright. There we go. <clears throat> that'll that'll do it. So our opponent is playing all the colors of the wind here. We can keep taking one supreme verdict. Timely doesn't seem good here. Rune Halo doesn't seem particularly good here either. Uh, we'll cut an oust. Click seems good. It's all seem good. Um, let's see. Or red permanent. So we only really saw Nick Bowles, but we also did see. We also did see their big nasty planeswalker there, Nick Bowles, and the Nip Mazette. So we'll take in the. We'll bring in the Purge, I guess. Bruno is playing the greediest mana base I think I might have ever seen. But. I'll trim two path for these angels. All right. Yep, we'll go ahead and play first. This hand's pretty slow. That's got a million click. They're also playing a very slow deck, so... Because I'm six again. Be trying to correct their mana base, if I had to guess. Field of Ruin seems pretty good against them. Alright. Don't want too many more lands here. I'd like to draw some action spells, if at all possible. The treasure map. So, what does this do exactly? Alright. Make some lotus petals. So I have half a mind to put the click in right now, just to play around their counter magic. So I think I'll do that. Esper Charm, Esper Charm, Search for Azcanta, Nicobolus, the Ravager. take their search. See, that does expose our Vendillion Click to removal spell pretty pretty easily, but um, start with Livid Marsh. It also allows us to start, start getting in for some damage, which I think is going to be important here. These lands. Let's see. Double Esper Charm, Nicobolus. So I'm going to aggressively field. I think I want to field one of their lands here. Or maybe I just want to keep up. Ah, shoot. All right. So yeah, we're going to aggressively field one of their lands. Not sure which fixes them more. They can't activate the Mystic Gate as it is. 
unless I unlock it for them. So let's let's just get that, I guess. Let me grab an island. Might be a little, might be this might be a little loose, but <coughs> again, just uh, I guess I did find a path. That's too bad. here. Ooh, do I want to detention sphere their treasure map? I know they have double Esper charm in hand. That doesn't seem overly, overly exciting. It is a shame that they found that, found that path pretty readily there to deal with our to deal with our uh, Vendillion Click. I was hoping that would be able to deal a little more damage before we lost it, but such is life. We are drawing a ton, ton of lands. So the odds of our opponent uh, being able to play through a Cryptic Command are probably pretty good here. That one seems all right to have. Scry one, put a landmark counter, three or more counters. Okay. I'm just going to get a fountain here, because of course our opponent don't think it's going to mess with our mana base this game. We would just really like to find... So, let's see. Opponent could have access, has access to only one blue. If they do this in response, tap scry one, put a landmark counter, sacrifice to all card, add a colorless, three artifact tokens. Mm. I guess we're just going to try and get our Teferi down here. If they do this in response and get things and do other things, it's just going to be, oh, it's stroke, okay. So now, unfortunately, they also know that we do not have a two-mana counter spell. Double Esper Charm on our opponent's next turn is okay. So yeah, actually, going for the, going for the Tiferi there was actually pretty catastrophically bad. Um, except for our opponent, they don't don't know it exactly, but if they would double Esper Charm us right here, we'd be in pretty bad shape. Although, unfortunately, our hand just doesn't really do a whole lot. However, having a Cryptic Command to keep this Nicobolus off the table would also be, be pretty nice. Okay, so they're going to play, they're going to play conservatively. Okay. So we managed to kind of get lucky there in a way. Our opponent does have a ton of mana, and I would really have rathered... Alright, so they're going to draw two with this Esper Charm. Yep. And this card is... I don't want to say <clears throat> so good, but it's uh, it's pretty absurd when uh, when you can uh, do, do Divination at instant speed and things like that. So we're just going to continue to play the draw go game here for a little while I think. Yeah. And Esper Charm uh, definitely gives them the edge in the in the control mirror here. Although their their threats and their finishers do seem um, a little maybe a little softer 
But again, we do have the trump card here in in White Sun Zenith, if we can ever manage to draw one. V1. And maybe the reason that worked in the Wafatapa Esper Draw Go deck was because of the volume of card draw spells that deck played. The Think Twice engine plus the Esper Charms uh, helped, it really helped you find it very consistently. But I think right now we're kind of at a losing proposition. Um, so we keep this for their Nick Bolas. I think we need counter magic. So it's almost getting to the point where they can just play Nicobolus and transform it in the same turn, which is pretty terrifying. So there's the Nick Bolas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They have enough mana to transform this thing in the same turn. So we're going to be forced to try and counter it, I think. Opponent has a Disdainful Stroke in the yard. All right, so it does resolve. We know nothing about their hand now. <coughs> Telling time, spell snare, and purge, and logic knot. I kind of like all of these. But why don't we take the snare, take the knot? So I think we can go for Jace here. All of our interactions fairly low to the ground. <laughs> So we should be able to protect this Jace reasonably well. Opponent just has so much mana. Alright, so let's put back Supreme Verdict and Opt. And we'll look to try and uh, convert this hieroglyphic illumination into some cards on our opponent's end step. Okay, is this Niv Mizzet? I think it is. Whenever a player, holy cow, can't be countered flying whenever you draw a card. It's one damage to any target. My goodness. Whenever a player casts an instant or sorcery, draw a card. Whenever you draw a card, and is it plus one damage to any target. Wow. So, all right. I guess we, I guess we lose. So we get to ping our Jace. I did not know that that could not be countered. Yep. So I guess we kind of want to. Charm in response. So I think we need to uh, lose the Jace. My God, this thing is brutal. Two lotus petals over there. 
get the Teferi out of here in case they play that card that uh, get rid of an opt. Yep, we have to draw a card. We can kill our Jace. Alternatively, I guess we could have done nothing and then bounced. What is that? Yeah, I don't know. This is pretty rough. Alright, so there's an answer to that. <clears throat> so we'll get rid of this. And I guess we will... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Uh, do we want to play a Lyra here? Our opponent has so many cards. If they have multiple paths, we're in a pretty rough spot. We're just going to do it. We're just going to do it. Ah, uh, the cruel ultimatum, huh? Sorcery. Mm. We did not play around that at all. Alright, so hopefully our opponent, um, I guess, plays something and taps out, and then we just make a bunch of cats, and hope that, that is good enough to get there. Yep. Oh no. Well. This is real bad. They've got white up. Ah, uh, gosh. Alright. Alright. Our opponent gets this one. Um, I didn't play that very well. Again, I'd, I'm really not very good at playing control mirrors. Um, I'm definitely self-aware enough to, to recognize that. I really, uh, my timing is not good. My decision making is not good. I feel like, ironically enough, I feel like uh, back when I was playing in paper, I was I was significantly better at this than I am than I am now. Ever since um, Jace got unbanned and kind of the rules of the game changed, in, uh, so to speak, in the control mirror, I just haven't. I've just not been very good at playing control matches, and I don't. I'm not exactly sure why, but um, I guess it is what I, I guess it is what it is. But we'll let our opponent let our opponent have their fun and do their thing. This is, Okay, so that's why that was gone. Can't be countered. All right, all right. Yep, we're done here. We're done here. So, uh, yeah, that's a that's a really interesting deck. Um, I, it's, it's sweet. It's really cool. Um, I actually have paper I've collected some some reflecting pools and some pillars of the pay runes and, and things like that I, I had a neat idea for a five color control deck at one point in time but I just I can't imagine that maybe this person does have a lot of success with this deck against the rest of the meta at large but uh, it certainly seems to be a deck that crushes that can uh, crush blue white but I'm, but uh, again I don't think I, I don't think I played this match very well um, uh, it is a shame also that in our game one that my opening hand was just 
you know, obviously it's in the dark. You don't know what you're playing against, but I feel like it, it was really bad against uh, against our opponent's deck. But um, not trying not trying to make excuses or anything. I again, I did I acknowledge that I did not play this well at all. Um, but yeah, that was that was that. That was a sweet deck. Uh, and we'll move on into our third match.